this is the Matrix. Like the Keanu Matrix. Reeves, is he in there? I wish. <laughs> Whoa. I like Keanu Reeves a lot. I do too. Have you seen John Wick? Both of them? Many times. Okay, good. Yes. We'll talk more about the that offline. The second one was so great. The first one was really good. Okay, uh, let's see. We're doing... The Matrix. The Matrix. <laughs> yes, The Matrix. I should have showed this first. I don't know why I didn't order these this There's way. It no, we can show it first in class. YouTube has no order. Yeah, yeah. So we just showed <laughs> Dim Op, and then the, the way, and that's a, a nice way to downsample your video. The, the way that everybody typically starts downsampling videos is by making a new matrix. So here we have our open message going into QMetro. We're grabbing 1280 by 720 video. And I pipe that over here into uh, JIT.matrix. Um, why is it? Oh, I know why it's doing that. Uh, we can, okay. So mm -hmm. this matrix here is 320 by 240. So my video is being downsampled from 1280 by 720 to 320 by 240. And it's explicitly set at 320 by 240. So it, it's not doing what DIMOP does, which is downsample it by a fraction. So if you wanted a half or a third or a quarter, whatever, you could set that. Here I'm just telling it this is what I want the new resolution to be, and it's munging it down into the, squishing it down into that new resolution. All right, that's one thing it can do. Very handy. Um, but you can also use source DIM and use destination DIM. Oh, we can also turn on interpolation, which I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of smooths the video out. Do you see when I flip mm -hmm. that? You can see it in the books. Yeah. Um, all right, so if I say use source DIM, then it's going to use my source dimensions. Source DIM start, source DIM end. So that is a rectangle that you draw around where you want the source to be. So again, we're doing what you can do in the target picker or in some other thing. Um, so if I say use source DIM, now it's doing left, top, right, bottom. Now it's not showing you the rectangle, but we are defining the rectangle of, of the source we want to use from the incoming matrix. We could uh, either or also use the destination DIM, which says where you want the video to be displayed. So um, that's also done by drawing the, uh, telling it the rectangle, uh, the XY coordinates of the upper um, uh, of the upper left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner. So um, left top, right bottom. And you know, if you use both the source dimensions and the destination dimensions, then you're doing both of these things at the same time. Um, and the only reason I have this TL clear here, so this is a trigger message, and it's sending the clear, it's sending the word clear right before it sends the new list of matrix pixels. So L stands for list, and um, whatever the video frame that comes in, it can be represented as a list of, of uh, pixels, and it's gonna draw those. So basically TL clear just says, right before you draw the new frame to the screen, clear the screen. If you don't have that, here's what happens. I'll just bypass that and draw it in here. Now when you have your use, uh, use source dim and use destination dim, turned on, um, if you were to move your destination, it's going to not be nice about redrawing <laughs> the background, right. which is kind of cool. I mean, maybe you could take advantage of that, but um, that's why I have the clear message here. So uh, trigger list clear is just kind of a goofy way of saying right before you draw the new frame to the screen, clear the whole screen, and then it clears all that out. Okay, very handy. This is the standard JIT, ma ma JIT matrix. Is like the Swiss Army knife of all of Jitter. Sort mm -hmm. of re revolves around this JIT matrix object. So, uh, we good? Yeah.